Alright, welcome back guys to Sonic Frontiers. I feel like I'm the only person who has bought the game on release who hasn't finished it yet. But we're inching our way, enjoying the journey, enjoying the character moments, enjoying like the little things, and 100%ing everything on the way through. And yeah, just taking it one step at a time. Alright, yeah, let's see if we can just um, charge forward and finish the game in this part. If everything goes according to plan, I should have like a little tier list at the very end of the video. With like, like a music tier list, I want to put all the songs in a ranking. Um, so far they have been like the most marvelous part of this game, it's a soundtrack. Everything else has been really good, but the soundtrack has been something else. But yeah, without any further ado, let's uh, take on this tower that's standing right in front of us. Alright, so we're climbing up the tower right now. This is a very long climb, by the way. Like, I'd really prefer not to fall off and do this all over again. But I'm a, su I'm a sucker for these angles, man, with like Sonic running and whatnot. He looks good in this game. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, lore? Uh oh. Oh, we sh okay. We shot one of them down and we got a bit of lore. I'm so interested to see more about these, like, chaos humanoids that we keep seeing, like the ancient spirits or whatever. I mean, I always kind of assumed Chaos had some form of connection or ties to the Chaos Emeralds. Well, I mean, it's in the name, right? Chaos and Chaos Emeralds. But also because in Sonic Adventure, whenever Chaos would feed on a Chaos Emerald, it would transform and it would gain a new form and plus like the call and the Master Emerald connection and whatnot. So I always assumed they had some kind of backstory, but I'm liking that we're getting a lot of elaboration on it. Wait, was, was that their planet that got destroyed? It looked like the... Looked like Earth for a second. Got destroyed by something. Oh, Sonic, you're not looking good at all. Your cyber corruption is accelerating. How can you smile when you can barely stand? Yeah, show don't tell. No words. Also, Sage has really grown on me since her last montage of, uh, with Eggman. That was really heartfelt, and seeing her cry actually like actually got me feeling emotional too. This does look like Kronos Island, though. Like the architecture. I mean, they all have share similar architecture, but I'm saying like how it blends in with the forest and the greenery. It looks like Kronos Island almost. I don't know what island we're on right now. Like, I don't know what it's called, but... You know what? I'll actually take this platforming section being in 2D. I much prefer... Uh, I've said this like a hundred different times at this point, but I much prefer the controls in 3D. But when it comes to precise platforming, I'm a much bigger fan of 2D in general. I guess while I'm here, I'll I'll talk a bit about how I've enjoyed each island so far. I didn't mind Chaos Island, like the last island we were on with Tails. It wasn't that bad, but the overabundance of 2D on that island kind of like... Like, I, it was fine in the moment it gave like the island its own flavor. But I don't know if I'm super looking forward to replaying that whenever I come around to replaying the game. Um, but when it comes to Kronos Island and Ares Island, I am much more looking forward to replaying that. For me, it's such a hard toss-up between the two. I think I enjoyed Ares Island overall way more than Kronos Island. I like the set pieces a lot, like the oasis. I like the general aesthetic of the sand, like the desert and whatnot. Um, to me, it f surprisingly, it felt a lot more alive and colorful than Kronos. And I also much preferred the boss fight at the end, and the music on that boss fight too. But it's just the pop-in on that island was just so horrendous, it took me out of it so many times. Whereas Kronos and Chaos were both way better optimized. The overall presentation of Ares Island at its best is, for me, the pinnacle of Sonic Frontiers. That is the best content this game has to offer. So they brought the Chaos Emeralds with them. The Chaos Emeralds were not on Earth. Oh wait, the Master Emerald was on Earth. And I'm guessing this is way before the Echidna tribe. I I I'm speculating, I know, I'm, or I'm hoping that I'm gonna get answers to all these questions in a sec. But, interesting, interesting. That is such an interesting development. So the Master Emerald was always on Earth, but the Chaos Emeralds, at least as far as I'm aware, were were brought in by these ancient Cocos or whatever. I have no clue what I just flew in. Oh, well, that was new and cool. Farewell. Man, seeing Sonic struggling like this doesn't is so hard to watch. How did we lose the Chaos Emeralds now? Like we we didn't get sniped out of the sky. We were just with tails. Did I just shoot away the Chaos Emeralds? 
I mean, I feel like if I was supersonic, things would have gone way faster. I remember when the, when I first found out that the cyberspace levels were all just four themes. Uh, Green Hill, um, the highway level, uh, chemical plant, and, and Sky Sanctuary. I remember being bummed out that it was only like those four themes. But in all honesty, seeing how cyberspace is in no way, shape, or form the focus of the game. Like the main focus is what I'm doing right now, right? Exploring the island and whatnot. Seeing how that is the main focus, I've kind of just like grown very indifferent when it comes to cyberspace. Like if there is a good cyberspace level, I'll enjoy it. But if it's like one of those 2D garbage cyberspace levels, I'll just beat it once and never look back. Um, the, definitely the main bulk of the game has come from exploring these islands and it's by far what I've enjoyed the most. If I like enjoy 90% of the game, I feel like I'm pretty much satisfied and I, and I can live without the other 10%, it's fine. You know what I just realized? This kind of reminds me of like the like the floating blobs of chaos that we see in Sonic Adventure 2 on the on the art. You know the ones like the the ones that float and they're very circular. You face off with a lot of them and towards the end of the game. Kind of reminds me of that. And I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that's it's a pretty cool detail if it is. Oh man, this is so hard to watch. Oh, they're all here. And they're not ghosts anymore. And Eggman. Whoa, this might this might hit hard for me. Oh, we're already done with the island. Rhea? Rhea's island? Rhea Island? Oh dude, we're getting really close to that finale. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm ready. Uh oh. Since time immemorial. I have languished here. The locks are broken. Now I shall tear down the walls. Whoa, so the voice that we've been following has... Has it been deceiving us into freeing it? No, oh, no you don't. I'll mobilize the egg fleet and blow you out of the sky. Yeah, because that has worked every single time, I remember. It won't be enough. This is so good. And they all look so good here, by the way. Sonic, we're even after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, did they go back to cyberspace just to free me? Oh, nice. They looked so good there for a second. Everyone, thank you. I won't let you down. That was so cool. And they looked so clean too without like the cyberspace effect. Oh good. He's back. Bro, <laughs> Eggman is the biggest fucking hater ever. Come on, dog. This game looks so good, what the hell? I'm not I don't know if I'm now just realizing, but they all look so good. The models look so good. Oh, so there are collectibles to gather and everything. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta do this grind one last time. Ooh, listen to the music. Oh, this one has a lot going for it, no? A lot of different set pieces. I'm, I'm surprised the level hasn't ended yet. Oh, this is sick. What the hell? Oh, whoa. Now we're snowboarding too? Oh, that was awesome. Oh, they went all out for this one. You know what, that might have been the best cyberspace level in this game. That's crazy. And right here, yep. There we go. Follow the trailer rings instead. Oh, and we got a sick little alternate path as well. Do you still snowboard? Oh yeah. Oh, this is so nice. What the hell, why couldn't every level in this game be like this? I imagine it would have if they had more time. Alright, wow, I just can't. I imagine they would have made every level as ambitious as this one if they had more time. Oh, what are these? Oh, I thought they were just like... Like... Uh, okay, cool. I thought they were just like some animals, like harmless animals. Alright, alright, got... Dog, you gotta, you gotta stop. How do I... How do I... How do I attack? How do I fight for myself? 
Can I not hit him? I parry, that makes sense. Did I die? Okay, it took me a second to figure out that I'm just supposed to parry. Oh, and I got an achievement too. Cool. I didn't mean to do that. That's a bit overkill. Let's just kill this guy. Sonic, come on, dog. You gotta know where to punch. Alright. I was parrying. Dude, eat shit. Whatever. Just a minor setback is all. I'm actually really looking forward to the cyberspace levels right now because they are... Like, look at this intro, they are just on fire with this island. I think I've seen this in some reveal before. Yeah, oh, this is so sick. Like, the way this level is structured, the music, everything is so sick. Man, they really were saving the best for last when it comes to cyberspace levels, huh? Uh, and a Sonic Adventure 2 reference while we're, while we're at it. I feel like there's so much I've skipped. I Yeah, I skipped so much. <laughs> what the hell? I only got two of the five red rings. But that was so sick though. I'm all for shorter Sonic levels. If the main... If they're not like the main selling point of the game. Right, because obviously the biggest thing this game has to offer is island exploration. And that is done really well. If we're gonna have like little bite-sized high-speed Sonic levels, I would... I am more than okay with them being like this. Because these are really fun so far. Uh, I'm gonna pay big a little visit because I think having the ability to teleport to the Elder Coco and the Hermit Coco is gonna be invaluable because this map seems huge. So let's just uh let's just grind this part out real quick. Oh my god, 48 tokens. That's like the most amount of tokens I've got on a single catch. How much is this one gonna get me? Eight. So they're all multiples of eight, I'm guessing. Makes sense, makes sense. The first island, the lowest was one, and then two, and then four, and now we're at eight. Oh, here we go. I finally got one of them. That's a lot of tokens, man. Alright, just one more to go, and we'll be out of here. Here we go. We finally did it. Let's go. Can I just buy Lost Coco forever here? Because I'm pretty sure on the previous islands they sold out at some point. Uh, I'll just keep going. I'm not gonna buy any like story progression related stuff. Like the memory token or the portal gears. I'll just do that by exploring the island as intended. Alright, we should be really stacked on pretty much everything. But this is good though, because I'm like level 1 on rank capacity right now. So I'm glad that I can at least just fin it, like level that up all the way through. By going through the big fishing session. Oh, this is kind of cool. Alright, this one has a lot of emphasis on uh, precise platforming and rail grinding. That's cool. I think it makes sense that cyberspace in 3d at least has its own um, capped physics because if we had our top speed in a level like this for example it would be almost unplayable because sonic at top speed is damn near impossible to control with very high precision uh, see right here or like the kind of precision that a level like this would require all the levels have been incredible on this island like they just they just knocked it out of the park with this one why they couldn't do that for the entire game i have no clue but I'll take what I can get. Also, I actually need to be really careful because 150 rings is not a small amount and this place is just packed to the brim with hazards. Dude, I'm just the best at these puzzles now. I'm unstoppable. Also, it's raining, and it looks really cool. I don't think it has rained since, like, the very start of the game. You know, when Sonic wakes up for the first time. It's a cool atmosphere, actually. I wish they did it more. Oh, now we're back in Green Hill. It's been a while. I'm excited to see how they do Green Hill in this island. 
Because like I said before, all the all the cyberspace levels so far have been absolute bangers. I'm kind of excited to see how the final boss is gonna look like. Because so far all the titans have looked incredible. My favorite design is probably the knight, but uh, my favorite fight, as I said before, is Wyvern. So I'm really excited to see how they designed that last boss. Also, here's the second and last red ring. And we're out of here. Oh, that's a new one. Master Ninja. Okay, wow. He just immediately sure you could be. Oh, and he's tanky too. But, still no match for me. <laughs> and we're back in Chemical Plant. I'm kinda excited, actually. I don't know if that's a surprise to anyone, but the Chemical Plant levels on this island have been incredible. Okay, that one... <laughs> okay, that one was kinda... Oh, okay, it is supposed to be, like, incredibly short. Alright, cool, I was gonna say, that one was barely anything. Alright, let's just power through this. 26 seconds. Is this the shortest Sonic level ever? Oh, we got the triple sixes. That's awesome. Can I sequence break this island as well? Because I'm pretty sure I can't get past this portion yet because of the story. But I can just teleport to the Hermit Coco. So should I try doing that? I'm feeling dangerous, but last time I did that, I, I had to restart my entire island. So here's what I'll do. I'll just save this right here. And let's swing it. All the levels have been 3D so far, which is a really nice treat. I'll take that, man. It's incredible. Don't let anyone tell you Sonic has to be in 2D to be good. Because this game is the prime example of that not being the case. That was cool, too. That was alright. Oh yeah, and all missions in one go, baby. Nice. Well, I guess I... I guess I just sequence broke the game and got away with it. Let's go! Alright, and just like that, we explored the entirety of the island. So now all that's left to do is just take out all the enemies, collect all the hearts, and we should be set. But before that, I believe we got at least one more cyberspace level. I think it's only one. And it's Chemical Plant. Ah, uh, but it's 2D this time. Whatever, I've been spoiled this island, I'll take, I'll take a 2D level. They gave me like two of the best 3D levels in this game back to back. So I guess I'll, I'll take a bit of 2D. A crazy emphasis on Chemical Plant though. That's interesting. Oh, we got the pipes and everything. Now it's feeling like Chemical Plant. Oh, this is kind of close. Come on. I missed it. Ah, I was three seconds off. Wait, why am I struggling with this one? Hold on. Let's just do it right. Let's just do it right. Easy. All right, we're cruising. We're cruising. We're blitzing right through it. Shit. Oh, I, I, I think I blew it. Fuck. Oh my god, I had it. I think we made it. I think we made it. Come on, come on. Just finish it strong, baby. Let's go. Ah, oh, That was hard. I like it. I like it. That was good. Alright, still working on gathering all the hearts, but we got enough to talk to Sage. We're one cyberspace level away from finishing it, and yeah, let's get to it.
Use your power to start the system. Hurry, our time is limited. All right, that works with me. Let's do it. Yeah, is it gonna be one of those shooter mini games again? Cause, dude, I'm cracked at those. Yep, I'm cracked. Dude, I'm just built different. Did I, did I just take damage? I don't know. Yikes. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> that was a little too much. I don't know what to tell you. There we go. First try, no damage. Hey, if there's even a 1% chance I can turn that despair of yours into hope, I won't disappoint. Well, isn't that the Sonic quote of the year? Let's go. One more. I gotta hurry up. Uh-oh. The music's all dire and stuff. Oh, it's already final boss time? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, we're going straight into it. Let's go. I love this song, by the way. Is that the final boss? Supreme? Okay, I guess it is. Can I parry these? I can. Alright, let's run into it. Wait, what happened? He just knocked me away. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start shredding him real quick. Wait, I, I parried it though. Oh, bruh. What? What's <laughs> what's happening? Also, this kind of this fight just kind of came out of nowhere. What? What's going on? Like, does anyone else feel like it's kind of rushed? I don't know. Oh, he's taking off. Oh, that looks sick, though. No match for me. I, I can't... I don't know what these yellow things are supposed to do. Right, I guess I'm gonna destroy this. Okay, so he baits me into it. Alright, Harry. Okay, so those little lasers, when I parry them, I can destroy his little, like, mini things. I love this song, I'm here. Parry. Oh yeah, this is just Giganto 2. Point. This is Giganto 2.0. This is still so sick though. I'm doing no damage, I'm, I'm guessing there is supposed to be like a scripted event I'm waiting for. Okay, so I need to parry those two hits, else he's gonna shoot me away like that. Alright, cool. Ah, I keep... Okay, I keep missing that parry. Okay. Uh oh. He got the blicky. Oh yeah, let's just end it now. We've traded them long enough.
It's still alive, though. Come on, let's end it. Or is it, is it dead? I have no clue. I don't know what just happened. This fight came out of fucking nowhere. So is that like the evil powers leaving this body? Like the main villain or whoever we're fighting? Is that it? Yeah, I don't know. You tell me. Oh, is Sage gonna take its body? Oh, snap! Oh, this is kind of like Sonic Unleashed. Oh, we're gonna chase it into space. All right, all right, yeah. Be careful. I need to listen to the Eggman memos. I haven't listened to those yet. I feel like there's so much character to Eggman now in this story that I'm just not seeing because I haven't seen the Eggman memos. Wait, is... And that's the end? Okay. That's its true form. Your home world. We can end this. Please. Wait, is it gonna be a shooter? <laughs> that's wait. That is that the final boss? Mortal, you have served your purpose. So it has been tricking us. Now face your end. No, stop it. it. Feels like I'm not doing enough damage. It's kind of scary. Okay, stop it. Oh, I can I can move vertically? I just... I thought I could only move... Bruh, this is... I'm making this discovery way too late into the game. Also, I can't hear what it's saying. Bruh, what? Damn, alright, this is kind of tough. Is there anything I can do? Like, outside of just shooting? Okay, I have one more life. I didn't know where that blazer was gonna shoot at. Yikes. I mean, this is not how I imagined a, like, the final boss fight of this game being. Assuming this is the end. Um, but this is still difficult. It's kinda cool though, with the earth in the background. Come on. Okay, what what was I supposed to do there? How how am I supposed to block that? You start over from the top. Uh oh, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know how I survived that, but hopefully they don't do it again because I have no clue what I just did. I think I'll save that that ultimate. Just in case he does actually never no mind. Ah, uh, fuck off. Alright, alright, we're shredding him. Come on. Am I doing damage? I am I okay, Thanos. I, I have no clue what else to do here. Whoa, okay. What the fuck? Dude, what do I do here? Alright, we're back here. Please, please, come on. I I don't think I have any more hits available. What am I supposed to do there? I I can't even tell where the lasers are gonna come from. Okay, let's try to get there without even taking any hits. But this fight is hard. I wish it was a different fight though, like, this doesn't feel like Sonic, but whatever. It is a good challenge, and I guess I'll take that. Fuck, I got hit! Alright, yikes. Yeah, I have to try again. I need to make it to that last phase without taking any unnecessary hits. Dude, I, I can't deal with this. This came out of... Ah, oh, whatever. We got it, we got it. Easy one. Brother! This is so fucked up. Um, 
starting to lose my mind, but getting hit on the most basic of shit. Were they saving all the difficulty for like the last fucking second in the game? Alright, I made it here with one more hit to spare. I don't think there's anything I can do there. What is this? What am I sp what am I supposed to do? Okay, I made it to the end again, but this time without getting hit once or without getting destroyed once. So, all right, come on. All right, just hang out on the edge and then scroll to the side. He's gonna summon his orbs in a sec. Just stay on this side. I just need to survive. Alright, yeah, I can't do much about this. I don't know what else to do here. Alright, stop it. I lit I have no clue what to do then. Did I make it? I need you to stop being such a hater and just- Thank you! Wait, did I make it? Come on, Sonic, you got this. Oh, and Sage is gonna help too. Oh, we deflected it. Cool. Let's go! Come on! No. Wait, what's happening? What? God, you see, she just sacrificed herself. And they're all free. Let's go. Okay. We did it. Oh, this is so nice. Eggman. Man. Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's over. Okay, I thought like someone would walk up to Eggman or something, like Sonic or so. Interesting. So this is the end, huh? I finally beat Sonic Frontiers after, what, it's been over a month, almost two months since it came out. But yeah, I finally beat it. What a wonderful game this was. The music has been stellar, the voice acting has been incredible, honestly. I I don't know if I can listen to another Sonic voice after this. Like, it's just Roger's performance here as Sonic was incredible. And I'm sure it wasn't just Roger that like made this performance so memorable and incredible. It was the writing from Ian Flynn for all the characters Sonic, Tails, Amy, and Knuckles, Eggman even. Eggman had a few shining moments. I, I think I'm missing... 
a big chunk of his characterization because I haven't listened to the memos yet, but I'll do that on my own time and I'll finish up the remaining parts of the game. This was incredible. This feels like a full game, you know? It feels like I actually got something done. It wasn't just like, it wasn't like Sonic Generations, for example, where it's like, like a four hour mini adventure or like Sonic Lost World, which felt the same way or Sonic Forces, which I don't, I don't even want to talk about. This actually felt like a full grandiose adventure from Kronos Island to Ares Island to Chaos to Rhea. And then the last one that I, I don't know the name of yet because I haven't uh, checked the map, but it's all been such a it's been such a journey for sure it feels like i've been on a journey with this with these characters and i got to know them so well sonic i got to know i, I finally got like reintroduced to my childhood hero sonic and sage was a character i enjoyed listening to and, and experiencing for myself because she went on such an emotional roller coaster i went from being intrigued by her to kind of just being annoyed by her to then falling in love with her and her character and her relationship with Eggman. I only wish we got to see more of that. It, it's a fun game. I don't know if I will like make a review on it. I think I want to move on from it and just focus on other things for my channel. Because this has been a big part of my channel for the last two months. But overall, man, I want to say I'd, I'd give this game like an 8 out of 10, maybe. Uh, like a 7 or an 8 out of 10. I'm feeling an 8. Because the good parts are really, really good, but um, the 2D cyberspace levels were really awful, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I hated pretty much all of them, uh, except for a select few. And and the pop-in on, on a couple of those islands was just horrendous. But everything else was really spectacular, and I enjoyed it from start to finish, pretty much. I want to. I hope Sega takes this. I, I know this game has been doing really well. I hope this. I hope Sega takes this, puts more resources behind this sort of vision for Sonic, and only just builds on it in the future. And I will be there. Uh, I supported this game because I I thought it had a vision, and clearly it did. They're gonna come out with more um, content for it later, DLC and whatnot. And I'll be there when that happens. But man. What a game. I do think the story kind of falls a bit flat at the end. Like the Titan just shows up out of nowhere and then we're fighting this final boss in a in really a gameplay style that doesn't feel Sonic-y. Where when the rest of the game was just completely Sonic from top to bottom. But all in all, I would say this was a huge step in the right direction for Sega, and I only hope. Oh here we go. I've been talking for the entire credits. And I only hope I see more of these characters with this okay. kind of writing. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, we're wasting daylight. Let's go. This is so cool. Oh yeah. Oh, even more credits. Yeah, I I said all I had to say. I just wish the the ending was a bit more fleshed out. I wish someone had a talk with Eggman or something. Just to, everything else was incredible. It's more than what I could have asked for. I'm very happy with it, very satisfied. I hope you guys have enjoyed going on this journey with me. I probably won't be doing walkthroughs anymore. This feels like such a time commitment and I do want to enjoy games on my own. I will be doing reviews moving forward, but just no more walkthroughs or playthroughs. But yeah, I got nothing else to say. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching and supporting. I hope I see you. Uh, on my next videos and yeah take care and I'll see you